Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the most delicious menudo. So in case you guys don't know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so we're going to begin with the hardest and most important part of this recipe, and that's getting our honeycomb tripe ready. So here I already washed it individually and I cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. And if you're using beef feet, then right now is the time to have it in here as well. I'm going to add two limes, just the peel, and the rest we're going to cover it with water. And this is going to help to get rid of the stickiness from the menudo. So now we're going to allow it to sit for at least two hours. The longer it sits, the better. After soaking a honeycomb tripe, for a couple hours, now we're going to give it a last rinse before getting ready to cook it. Okay, so we're going to rinse until the water comes out clear. Okay, so once our honeycomb tripe is nice and clean, now we are ready to begin cooking it. On a large pot of our medium high heat, we're going to add five quarts of water, salt, one whole onion, one garlic head, and we're going to bring it to a boil. Okay, so once it comes to a boil, we're going to add our honeycomb tripe. And I'm using five pounds, but as it cooks, it's going to shrink. So if you like the tripe, make sure that you add a lot more. Okay, so now we're going to wait for it to boil again. And once it comes to a boil, remove any form, form on top of our broth. Now we're going to reduce the heat to medium low. We're going to add four bay leaves four springs of epazote, and one tablespoon of menudo mix. Or you can use oregano. We're going to cover it and allow it to cook for one hour and 30 minutes. All right, guys, so after one hour and 30 minutes, now we can get ready to make our red sauce. So for the red sauce, we're going to be using 20 New Mexico Oahillo chile pods, along with four chile de ancho. So we're just going to clean them. And you know, these are my favorite. If you want your menudo to be a little spicy, then use New Mexico chili pods. If not, just use guajillo. But we're going to remove the stem and the seeds. And use gloves so that your hands don't burn. But my hands are already used to it, so they don't burn. Okay, and do the same to the chili ancho. And we're still going to rinse them. But just remove the seeds, just like that. Okay, so once we depot our chiles, now we're going to rinse them. Okay, and once we rinse them, we're going to add a quarter of an onion and we're going to cover them with water. And now we can put them on our stove. Set it on high heat and bring them to a boil. As soon as our chiles and onion come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and transfer them to a blender cup. Going to cover the chiles with the water. And once we have them, now we can make our sauce. To a blender cup, we're also going to add four garlic cloves, one cup of hominy, one teaspoon of black pepper, and salt. And now we're just going to blend till we have a smooth sauce. Okay, once we have our sauce ready, now we can pour it in our pot. Okay, so before we add our sauce to our pot, we're going to remove the onion, garlic, and epazote. Okay, that smells delicious. Okay, so now we're going to add our sauce. And strain if you need to. Okay, so I add a little water to my blender cup. So mix it. And at this point, we're also going to add our pre-cooked hominy. Make sure that you rinse it real good. Okay, so now we're just going to allow it to continue cooking for another 30 minutes. Alrighty guys, and after 30 minutes, our menudo is done. 
what it should look like and I am so ready, it smells delicious. And I'm also going to add a little bit more of the menudo mix along with some chile de árbol. Okay, so now I'm just going to allow it to sit for five minutes and then we can get ready for the fun part. Alrighty, so now we're going to get ready to serve. Now I can get ready for the fun part. Okay, so I'm going to begin by squeezing some lime juice. Going to add a little bit of oregano. And because I like my menudo spicy, I'm going to add some crushed pepper. This is chile de pin. Going to top it with some cilantro. And of course, some onion. And just like that, get your bolillo ready or your tortillas. And now we are ready to enjoy our delicious menudo. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I am so ready guys, here in my house, we eat our menudo with bolillo bread. Um, like I said, you can have your tortillas, whatever, however you wanna enjoy your menudo. I am so ready. Menudo is honestly one of the easiest recipes you can ever make. The only thing, you know, time consuming is just cleaning the tripe, but that's very important because a good menudo cannot smell or taste like tripe. So I hope you give this recipe a try and enjoy it just as much. Get the bolillo, dip it in there, and it smells delicious. So cheers and enjoy. Mm. Of course, a good menudo has to have a good sauce, and this is honestly the best. My favorite part, my favorite part is the hominy. I know a lot of places they don't add the hominy, but that's just preference. I grew up eating it like this, and it's my favorite. Perfect combination. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make the most delicious menudo. I hope you guys are enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you record this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.